Hey folks, this is Putz327, and welcome to another episode of Skyrim. And it is a beautiful evening here in Whiterun on Turdus at 7.19 a.m. I'm thinking that's Thursday. I a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Okay, uh, Settler's giving us unneeded information. I just got uh, done at Bellathor's General Goods. I was selling some of my things in hopes to gain enough gold to buy our house. Unfortunately, none such luck. So, we're going yes. to go off questing now and see what kind of things we can do today in Whiterun. Well, in Skyrim, not just Whiterun. We could get some gold if we had a pickaxe, but we don't have a pickaxe. So we'll have to do it the adventurer's way. So, let's see here on our map. Dragon's Reach, Western Watchtower. Let's go for a journal. Okay. We did all that. That was... Okay, kill the bandit leader located at whatever that world is, word is, speak with the leader of the companions, join the Stormcloak Rebellion. We could, uh, we could read the notice of sale for the pet mud crab, or we could try to get the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. We're supposed to go to Solstheim, however, we're not at the right level to do that, so, see, I'd like to go there to continue the story, but I know we're going to die as soon as we get there. Um, where did my horse go? Okay, there she is. Whew. I thought I lost our dear Allie here. And I figured out that you can't, um, at least you can't yet, rename the horse unless it's a special horse, which I thought that kind of stupid, but to each their own. Okay, so what's in this direction? Iverstead, Winterhold. I can't read those other ones. Uh, the light is obscuring them. The Legia Farm. Whoa, I didn't want to go there. I don't know why it put me there. Okay, so we're... We should probably go to Riverwood. See if there's anything we can't do there. Cast Soul Trap on an enemy during combat and his soul will be captured in one of your empty soul gems. Well, I just sold all my soul gems. So... That is of no help to me. Where can we leave Alley to graze? Um, Ain't every day we get visitors from Riverwood. Okay, Oliver. Well, we'll leave her right here. She should be okay. Let's talk to Stump. Really? So not much goes on here. 
All right then. So what is this place? Is this the inn? Yes, the Sleeping Giant Inn. I can't remember if there's any side quests uh, in River Run. There should be. We will see. We Orgnar. Some food, drink too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Need a room? Talk to Delphine. Uh, no. All right then. Um. I'm just a cook, lad. There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Okay. Right, then. Well, let's go there then. We have our side quest. So... Winterhold. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has yes. attacked White Rock. All you guards pretty much say the same thing, and that's annoying. Alright, so where are we going now? We are going to... Um... Guess we have to figure that out on the journal first. Okay, we have to talk to Aventus Aretino. Okay, where is he? Um, do we have any pointers on where he would be? Okay, um... Okay, he's in Windhelm, so that is going to be a trek. Uh, we'll see... Okay, let's fast travel to White Run and spend some of our gold to get a cart there. That way I'm not wasting a couple hours in video trying to get there. Okay, Allie, I'm going to leave you here at the stable. Don't let anyone sell you while I'm gone. You stay right there and you be a good girl. Alright. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Windhelm. Climb and back and we'll be off. Okay. Off we go. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some accounts. They say the big old palace there was built by Yisra. <clears throat> Bashing with a shield will stagger an opponent if timed properly. It will also interrupt a power attack. Hmm, that could be useful in our adventures. Okay, we discovered the Windhelm Stables. So that's nice. Did Allie get transported here? No, she did not. I don't know why I thought she did. But yes, here is Winterhold. No, Windhelm. Right, where am I? Windhelm. Sorry, I got confused. Because of the wintry scene that is here and in Windhelm. Who is this fine lady? Horses. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? 
my horse isn't dull. She's a sweet little beauty who takes me where we need to go sometimes. All right, whoa. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Me? I'll have no part of that. Well, aren't you just fantastic? Let's go into Windhelm. Each hold tracks its crime separately. A wanted criminal in Whiterun might have no bounty in solitude, and so on. Okay. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm cloak. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight. But we got ways of finding out what you really are. Dark Elves. Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Great Water yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that kind. Sounds like it. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Until next time. Yes. So we just bore witness to some racism and threatening in Skyrim. Can't get away from that no matter where you are. Apparently. My job simple enough, but they don't really complain. All right, yeah, I didn't think they would. If the dead complain, then then you have some ghosts on your hands. And grant peace to these departed souls. Okay, who are you? Her mirror, strong heart. All right. I don't know how to pronounce these names. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not going to attempt most of them. Okay. So, we're wandering around this hold. Not exactly sure where to go. Um, Brunwolf Free Winter's house. No, we're not going to go in there. not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy. That house. They are cursed. Ha! Huh. Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. Huh? Indeed. What you heard is true. The Ventus Aretino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Well then. All the Argonians at the docks are nice to me. Good thing too, if your father would run them off. <laughs> Alrighty then. So we're still looking for the child. Oh, right here. 
we must pick his lock. Now do you think I am? Of course you are. I prayed, and you came, and now you'll accept my contract. My mother, she, she died. I, I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Ripton, Honor Hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Quellod the Kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away. And came home and became the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you could kill Grelod the Kind. Sorry, to be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Okay, now this. Please don't kill Constance Michelle. She really is kind. Okay. Uh, I have a problem with this quest. Because morally it would be wrong to leave children unattended <laughs> in an orphanage. However, the children are being tortured there. So, uh, I always... I always kill Grelod, even though it goes against my better judgment, but again, she's torturing the orphans, so she kind of deserves it. We will read that at another point in time, and we will take... All of this stuff so we can sell it. Oh, wait, yeah, he, he had a human heart and some sort of flesh. Please don't kill Constance Michelle. She really is kind. It's on a whole orphanage in Rifton. I've never been more sure about anything in my entire life. Someone like Gorlod doesn't deserve to live one more day. She's a monster. She got sick last winter. It's when the snows came. And she just, she never got better. Not all year. One night, she fell asleep and never woke up. So now I'm all alone. And the Jarl said I have to go to Honor Hall Orphanage. It's not fair. Normally, whenever I play, um, I, I end up adopting him and Lucia from Whiterun, and, and this is exactly why, is because he's, he's all alone, and I, I feel really bad for him. Please hurry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. All right, so we have... Okay, we will read this. Master Aventus Aretino, Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, wishes to express his deepest sympathies at the death of your mother, Nalia. 
Unfortunately, because you are fatherless and have no other known relations, the Jarl cannot allow you to remain in your home unsupervised. Therefore, in no more than a week's time, you are to report to Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften, where you will reside until your 16th birthday. The Aretino family home in the city of Windhelm will, of course, remain your property. The building will be securely locked and ready for your return six years hence. Note that I am unsure of the education provided to you by your recently deceased mother, or if you possess the ability to read the letter I am currently composing. Therefore, a member of the city guard will call upon you in one week at your home and provide escort to the orphanage. Hopefully, his arrival will not come as a complete shock. With greatest respect, your relief steward to the most noble Jarl, Ulfric Stormcloak. Now, being that he's leaving this place, I would loot everything so I can sell it later, but currently he's still living here, so I'm going to loot it later. Whoa, for story purposes only, I, I know that it doesn't really affect anything whether you loot the entire house or not. But, uh, yeah. That's just, that's how I roll. If you play this differently, more power to you. I can't remember how to get out of here. Okay, here's the door. But we do have our first side quest. The School of Alteration focuses on the manipulation of the physical world and is used to cast spells like water breathing, magical armor, and mage light. So now we are going to take the cart to Riften, I presume, because we don't have Alley, and I probably can't afford to buy another horse at this time. But uh, yes, we will complete our side quest, and then we will look for a mission. My horse is here! Hi, Allie. You beautiful black stallion. How far away is Riften? Maybe I can just ride there. Um. Um. What the? Where is Riften? I used to know where Riften was. Riften's over here. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take some time to get there. I think we're just gonna use the cart, but I'm so happy that Allie came with us. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? I want to go to Riften. Back and we'll be off. All right. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Black Briar Museum. You mug the dads and you'll forget all of them. Alchemy labs can be used to combine ingredients into useful potions and deadly poisons. Good to know. Okay, so here we are in Riften. And Ali came with us again. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the free. Do you want in? You need to cooperate. Oh, there's a dragon here. I forgot about that. There he is up there. Okay, 
Well, he needs to land somewhere or I can't attack him. There he is. Maybe I can just go in. Nope. <laughs> Where are the guards? Wondering about over here. Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of the face sculptor down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it from what I've heard. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thief's Guild. Or so they'd have you believe. It's all lies. They're just thugs, vermin, creeping around the Rathor. Okay, can, can I go in? Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? I'll let you keep your voice down. <laughs> Want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. I love that you can call them on their gates unlocked. On their Head stuff. Inside when you're ready. Riften is home to the Blackbriar Meadery, one of the largest and most successful businesses of its kind. I had another run-in with the Thieves' Guild. Be careful, Mia. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Of course. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. Okay, then. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket, and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Then you're stupider than you look. <laughs> you better watch your ass around. Okay then, it didn't work with him. <laughs> I'm really getting tired of their excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did. But how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? You're a stranger here too, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't want to go to the Scorched Hammer. I want to go to Honor Hall. Scurry off, my little gun. 
She's a bitch. really shouldn't be here. I'm sorry, but the children aren't up for adoption right now. You should go. Sadly, yes. Even the townsfolk have taken to calling her Brella of the Kind. Her very existence has become something of a running joke. Grelod runs this orphanage because she's old and set in her ways and doesn't know any other life. These children need love and comfort. I try, but I'm sorry. You should go. The children aren't up for adoption, and it's cruel to get their hopes up. Besides, Grella hates visitors. I'm sorry, no. Grella is the headmistress here, and she's decided not to allow any adoptions right now. I... I wish things were otherwise. All of these children deserve a better home, but there's nothing I can do. My only concern is for the children. The poor darlings have no one else. I'm gonna sit at the table. Actually, no, we're gonna go talk to her. No business being in here. What are you staring at, you worthless piece of gutter trash? You simply must start locking the doors again. You intimidate me in my own orphanage? Ha! Not bloody likely. You don't scare me. took off when he said those things about killing Grelid. I never imagined he was serious. Kill one person and you can solve so many problems. I wonder at the possibilities. <laughs> Someone has killed Grelid! Can't talk to her. Victory is yours. I submit. Okay, so now we will fast travel back to um to Windhelm to tell him that she is dead. So that was our our side quest for this video.
Once folk called me Captain because I used to be a sailor. Why is she running? Well, I guess that's good for you then, Captain. Everyone says Yorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few lines. Okay, so how do I, I lost get my twin sister a while back? Have you ever lost anyone close? I've been a bit out of Poor Nilsine has been wrecked since her sister was killed. My father says we need to just get on with our lives. Okay, I didn't want to talk. I just I wanted to find the kid. But you might want to leave the dead with mercy and kindness. There's a uh, that opens another quest. That's why I was trying to get away from it. Okay, we're need almost there. See me. I I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. Well, good for you. Uh, Windhelm is... Stay away from the Oratino residence. The place is <laughs> That's where we're going. Windhelm, for me, is quite hard to navigate because it all kind of looks the same. And it's very condensed and compact. And So I apologize if I take too long trying to get around. Do it. I just knew it! I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me! Here, just like I promised, this can fetch you a nice price. Oh, thank you. Thank you again. Oh. I'll go back to the orphanage in a while. I'll give them time to, you know, clean up the mess. <laughs> And now we're gonna loot your house, cause we are. Okay, boots, shoes, hat, clothes. We'll take all of it. Take the bucket. And anything else we can take here? Guess we can't take the skulls, but we can take everything else. Oh yeah, we're gonna take all of this. Normally in my in my games, um, doesn't even depend on what game I'm playing. If there's a loot system, normally I wouldn't do this, but I have the goal in mind of, you know, buying buying the house so I can adopt these children. So yes, I need to loot everything and sell what I can. Is there anything over there? I don't think so. I don't think you can even loot the barrel. Is that it? Is that everything? Yes, you can't take anything more from there. Oh, take the firewood and the go away. Take the cast iron pot. See, even games like Fallout, I normally don't loot anything unless I need it. Like, I always uh, loot the bottle caps and the ammo. But most of the stuff I just tend to leave. Ooh, you got some gold. But in this case, we can sell everything. And that's what we're going for. 
Alright, so we completed that mission. Oh, I didn't want to go to items. I wanted to go to... Go to journal. Guess we could... We need to go all the way over here to get that, and I don't think that that is the best idea. This video might be just two side quests because I don't think we're quite at the level we need to be to continue and that sucks. But it is what it is. Let's go into the bar here. Candle Hearth Hall. See if we can't get any side quests in here. Every night, I walk around the Grey Quarter and let them Greyskins know what I think of them. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Okay. Did you see the candle above the fire upstairs? It was lit 163 years ago. Back when this building was the home of a grand warrior named Vundheim. When word came that he'd fallen, his son Durot lit the candle in his honor. Nobody knows why it still burns. Enjoy your stay, and don't break nothing. Our hero, our hero, play the warrior's heart. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. We ought to dig a big hole. For all them dark oh, yes, elves and Argonians in it. Tear each other to pieces. You, you a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash. They're parasites. We're living in our city under our protection. But what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited him here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for Skyrim's freedom. Those Thalmor elves, too. I bet they're working together. Maybe I should round up some men and take us a few prisoners to interrogate. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! Don't think I can take it? One hundred subtons say I can punch you back where you came from. All right. Fists only. None of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Come on. You never should have come here. This one's a in a fair swing. Yeah. Here. <laughs> I've never done that before. That was fun. <laughs> I 
I didn't know you could actually do that in this game. That was pretty fun, though. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. Good for you. So, how much gold do I have now? Still not enough. You need 5,000 to buy that house in Windhelm. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Take a look. I think we'll uh, sell some things to you. How about that? Yes, let's sell the eggs. Um, and that's... Enjoy your stay. And don't break nothing. About it's good to spend some time on solid land. Okay, so let's see, maybe we can do this quest down here in the graveyard. And grant peace to these divided souls. My job's simple enough. They don't really complain much. Luckily, Windhelm is cold, so the dead don't rot as quickly. Sometimes the burial has to wait for the ground to fall. I know that it was around here somewhere that you get the quest. And I think you have to talk to those people. Where did they go? I think this is one of them. My father says we need to just get on with our lives. It's that easy. Oh, did you need something? <laughs> I was trying to help you on your In a murder over in Rifton. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. Nah, they were celebrating. She was a bitch. Palace of the Kings. Okay, so spare a coin for an old woman, my lord. Sure. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. The divine smile on a charitable soul. Staying out of trouble, Kinsman? The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. Okay, let's see what's in here. They give us a straight answer. He's a true lord. He'll come around. Go, oh, please, sir. Show them that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long? think I need to send both Rafa's to the message. If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without something. Do I know you? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helden. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good man, but he hasn't returned yet. So I'll need to wait for his account. For now, speak with Gama. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of hell. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past, and you fight for me with honor and integrity, we'll welcome you into our ranks. So we're ready to start this war in earnest, then. Soon. I still say you just storm cloaks and hide my victory across the king for it. So where's Galmer? Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our. There he is. 
We're ready when you are. Really, Ken? Hell of a man. Walter told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. But first, tell me, why does a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim? Sign the Dragonborn. Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel, I'm sending you to Serpent Stone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, <laughs> well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice raids. You kill an ice raid out there. I have all the proof I need about you. Only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. We'll see about that, won't we? Here, take this. You'll need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Can <laughs> let them die with their false king. All right, so we have to kill an ice wraith. Fantastic. Hopefully, we can get to that in this video. Um. So yeah, there's there's gonna be multiple side quests in this video and not any of the story unfortunately because we're not at the right the level me captain because I used to be a sailor. good for you you already told us that souls time is is tough starting out that's why I don't think we should go there just yet because I know right off the bat we're gonna die um, been there done that unfortunately I died many times trying to get through those levels at the an early early stage horses All right, well, since this video is close to an hour, if not already over an hour, um, I think I'm going to cut it here and I'll get on Alley first. Uh, in the next episode, we can either go kill the Ice Wraith we can try to uh, retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. We could do that. The, the pet mud crab. We could try to visit the shrine of Azura. But here. The shrine of Azura. Right now we're, we're at Windhelm Stables. No, remove it. The Shrine of Azura is up here, near Winterhold. I'm not entirely sure where we're going to go next, but we've done, so far, two missions, sort of, in this video, so... That's going to be all for today. I've got some other things I want to record. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to subscribe and share. 
And if you would like to support the channel in a more direct way, please visit my Patreon. A link will be in the description below the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.